Oh, hello. Look who it is. Come on in. <clears throat> Lots to see here. So we are here on our last day in Australia and I'm stuck in bed sick. Um, the main reason is, uh, well I think it is, my, well most people know I had my spleen removed and uh, spleen helps fight infection in your body so I get more sick more often than most people and I had to be more careful, you know, wash my hands more and stuff. But uh, after working, you know, two expos you know, less than two weeks. Um, I can't tell you the amount of hands that I shook and stuff. And I think, you know, if you don't wash your hands and you touch your face, and, you know, and sometimes everybody can get sick. So I feel like I'm, that's probably the reason why I got sick. And uh, what the hell was I felt it all week, but did, today I woke up today and just, you know, really felt bad. I haven't, I haven't trained and haven't really eaten. This is a fucking disaster. I woke up, I think it was yesterday, and I noticed that my eye was swollen, and I was having a hard time seeing out of it, you know, watering up all the time, and, and I woke up today, and it's like half shut, you know, my eyelid's really swollen, it sucks, but what are you going to do, you know, it happens to the best of us, at the worst time possible. <laughs> Being on these trips, um, you know, we do our best to stay on track and stuff. But if you're, you're dieting for a competition, like um, you've probably seen earlier, I weigh all my food, I eat a certain meal at a certain time of day, and you know, you come halfway across the world and you gotta, you, sometimes you just have to eat what you can get your hands on, what you, what you can find. Best memory, um, you know, actually one kid came up to me and uh, he was pretty nervous. And he was—he even told me he was shaking. He said, "I feel sick," and his heart, he says, "Heart was going mil a mile a minute." He said, "Cause you're," like he said, "I was his hero, or you know, I was the reason he started working out and all this kind of stuff." And I'm like, you know, that's—I have a lot of people come to me and say stuff to me, but this guy seemed like really, like, uh, really genuine. And to have you know that kind of impact on someone's life when all I'm really doing, to, what I think I'm doing, is living my life. You know, I love to work out and. And uh, I just try my hardest and my best. And at the same time, it seems to motivate other people because I, I'm a guy that just doesn't quit. I don't want to quit no matter what. And for some, you know, it gives other people hope or, you know, people feel the same way about their problems or whatever. And uh, makes other people keep going and motivates other people. And I guess I'm doing something right. It's not, it definitely motivates me to, uh, to try to be even better and you know influence more people as long as I can, as long as I'm in this sport and and uh, help as many as I can. What motivates me? Well, I don't know. That's a tough question. Well, I think one, my dad motivates me because he's really sick and he's bedridden, you know, lives in a hospital. And he told me that, you know, for me to never, never give up. And that I'm living his dream. This is what he wanted to do. And 
How can I give up when he's, if he was me, I know he would do this even better than I would. And, you know, then you got the, the fans that, you know, look up to you and stuff. And they I always say, we, we want to see you on stage again. We, want, we think you're the best. We, um, I follow you for years and, you know, your picture's on my wall and I watch your videos and, you know, uh, I don't know. I think it'd be pretty, pretty shitty of me to give up because of a stupid injury when there's other people that are, have it way worse and are still doing what you do, you know, so I think it's, there's always somebody out there with it worse and they would trade places with you in a second, you know, so, and, and at the end of the day, you know, I just love to train, you know, when the competing's done, I will always train because it's, I can't go a day without thinking about training and I just love it, I love that feeling and I don't think it's, it's never going to stop, so at the end of the day, it's just the love you know, the workout, the, you know, to lift weights, not just compete. That's competing is great and winning and, you know, getting in shape and all that kind of stuff. But I just love to work out. Keep asking why I have so many veins and what do I take that makes me veiny? What exercises? What diet? What supplement and stuff? And um, I tell them there's no answer. Like just mostly, I think it's genetic, obviously. But uh, when I was younger, uh, you know, you get a little pump and you have a little vein in your arm, and everybody who works out loves that. And uh, I said to myself. I want to feel like that all the time. I want to have a veins in my arms all the time, not just when I work out and get a pump. And I was like 16, 17 when I said it to myself. And now I have it like that pretty much all the time. I'm like, but I remember telling myself I want that. And then it came, kind of came true. So it's like, I wanted it bad enough so it happened. I don't know if that's really, that really works, but I really told myself that. And it, I don't know. I didn't ask, I didn't tell anybody. You know, people say like, oh, I want veins on my I told, I just said it to myself, I didn't tell anybody else. Everybody else would thought I was nuts. You know what I mean? You want veins in your arms all the time. Why would you want that? You're supposed to be inside your body. I live in LA now, it's great. You know, I'm still not an American citizen yet, but that's what we're working on right now. And it's gonna be great when I can go across the border and not have to like, have to say anything. I can just say, flash the card and say, I'm American I'm and Canadian, so I can go back and forth, you know, whatever I want and do whatever I want. So it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. I mean, everything's going great and things are only getting better and in every way, not just training, but my whole life.